Alright, what's up everybody? So today I want to make a quick how-to video on how you clean out your crossfaders. When you got like an old school mixture like this or depends like your standard mixture where you can take this whole plate out type deal to really you can do this to any kind of crossfader in general. But in my case I'm going to show you how to take how to do on these ones where you got the old school ones where you can take the whole plate out and everything. So I'm going to show you what if you notice the crossfader is bleeding and whatnot, this is what it would sound like. Here's so you literally get nothing but this or whatever side you're trying to keep coming in. Or wherever it's buzzing or crackling and all that shit. So first things first, ugh, first things first, I'm gonna turn this whole mixture off so I'm not getting shocked. Alright, cool, everything's off. So the first thing I normally do is probably you take your two side bolts out. Or screws. So you want to take your outside ones off. I'm gonna show you why in here in a minute. Most people do know this by when they have mixtures like these already done before. So that's what you pretty much should work with. Then use on plug it like that. Pretty simple stuff. Now I'm going to do is push it right back in. So that's why I say you take your two outside bolts because then you get this. Then you want to remove your knob on your crossfader. Then take these two bolts off. On your face plate. So I pretty much got all my tools what I know what would do this with. Although I might be missing one thing, but you can do it however you want, you know. So I got this is what your crossfader would look like. Your standard plain simple crossfader. Um most some mixtures are a little different, but it's mostly like this. Then what I like to do is I like I grab my Q-tips, a spray gun, or pretty much like an air spray, sort of get the dust and shit out of it. And the thing I always use, I'm going to use this for the past while, is the B40, which actually works really good, but you don't want to overdo it. Because it can get pretty messy, but you still want to get a mount on there. Because a little more can be really good. So I've been using W40 on my crossfader on this typical setup for past months now. And it's been... Actually, I think it makes it sound better. To I feel like it lasts a little longer, depending on how much you use your mixer. Like, I used to use this one daily all the time. So I had to do it at least once a week. Or tell I do the little bleeding test we hear fuzzing or crackling sound. And I haven't cleaned this out for months, so that's why I waited so long. So you take your Q tip, you get in there. You could take these bend these clips back and do that, but I choose not to because I don't want to break my clips and be screwed. Cause let's say it works too if you get your Q tip in there. And you just Keep on rubbing it out, or not rubbing, but keep on wiping the shit out of it. And 
and keep going back and forth. I do use alcohol too on this, like you 90%. Rubbing alcohol that can that can work pretty good too, and that's it can be okay, but you can in general you can just wipe it out and it'll do just as great. I, but rubber and alcohol can be more like a quicker clean, I guess. To that stuff can evaporate really quickly, so that's great too. And I always do work my fader in. If I'm cleaning and lubing it. So that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to take my spray gun. Yes. Do that. All I do is to get the dust and stuff out of it, just in case. Trim my little parts here and there. I always do work to piss out this thing too. So, and last but not least is WE40, which this is pretty much the. I don't, don't want to say it's the best, but it does work pretty accurate. So you pretty much want to get in there, which I try to get right in the middle. Yes. Spray. You don't want to help too much because you can leak everywhere. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but a little more can always do you good on the long run. Then you just keep working the B40 in or whatever lubricant you use. But I feel like the B40 is a lot slicker than what I've been using. See, I feel like it's like the best, kind of the best okay thing to use, dude. But to me, it works pretty great. I've been using this thing for months, and I feel like it makes your fader a lot slicker. Kind of, sort of, but when you're working in, it makes it slicker anyway. But also, it can last for a while when you've got your contacts to your stick, whatever you want to call it, your knob, or any type of contacts in general. Now, I normally do one more spray in there. There you go. That time I did spray a lot more. Just gonna, I was gonna sit here and wipe it all out. Train your circuit board and all that shit. Cause it kind of leaks out all the way. It leaks out all the way out. Everywhere, pretty much. So I keep rubbing this, and that's why I would get the alcohol too. Kind of use that to rub this off, and because that stuff dries off too and evaporates really quick. Working your fader in. So that's pretty much about it. Is. You don't have to take your whole fader apart. You can just use your Q-tips and it'll work. This is great to wipe out or clean out. To if you do use the B40s or any kind of spray material, like Odile, just be aware you might get leaking out everywhere. But don't hurt it. So I'm going to set this up and I'll let you get the hearing test. Or how, makes, how much this can make a difference. When you get any kind of lubricant between your contacts. It's kind of like the only... But I will take this back apart and we wrap it all back out. So yeah, you just gonna screw these in first. You don't have to do them real tight here. It's where it stops moving pretty much. Same with your, your small bolts too. As soon as it stops turning, it stops. Then you just push that back in. The last thing you want to do is get your favorite knob on.
it's kind of stupid the first thing you can take it off in general. Oops, half the time. Does it get on us? Always keep working back in because it don't hurt. I did I did rig this up too. I got two more bands right there. Kill all dead space off. It kind of makes it cut sharper too. But I just did it cut all dead space to kind of kill. Try to make it less noisy, but it, it, it works. So I'm gonna turn all this back on. So you guys can get a hair test. Find something to wrap my hands off with. Like I said, I'll probably take this back apart and we wrap it all back out on your board where it leaked out. No bleeding. How you clean crossfaders? We got like an old school mixer like this and whatnot. So hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys later.